All right. Here is our video for Clip Studio. If you got a Wicom and got this with it, this program is the bomb. I think it is just really a great little program for what you spent with it. And, and you're going to have a good time and it's very similar to Photoshop. So here is what we're trying to make. And I'm going to quickly walk through um, all the different things. Super easy once you get used to it. All right, so we're moving type expressively with the first one. And um, here is your page. And you have layers exactly like in Photoshop. If you cannot find them, just like in Photoshop, you come and open up your layers panel over here. Um, you add and an new layers here. Sometimes I found that I had to double click. If you can't get it to work here, then everything again is under layers and you can add a new layer on right away here as well. And you want to put your type all in different layers. Click on your A. That starts your type. Then you also want to click on your A up here and that will give you your text box. You've got text color and background color. And you've got font here, all of your different fonts. You have size here. I have mine all the way up at, at, there's 80 up to nearly 500. You have style, bold, italic, underline. And um, right now we don't have to worry so much about whether it's right or left or justification. All right, and you also see you can scale, scale and rotate. So with the first one, if I'm going to do, uh, a real simple word like safe. I can type in the letter S. I have red here. I could choose another double click here, just like in Photoshop and choose another color and make sure that you've got it here and click OK and reselect it and didn't get it. This is the one thing that I've had harder trouble doing is changing color. So I'm going to leave it red right now. All right. So that's on that layer. To have it on a new layer, you can either click over here and um, add a, that one says combine, that one says apply mask, new layer folder, new vector layer, click it. It didn't get a new layer there. There it is. I'm on a new layer, click, and um, I can come up with a new letter, S-A, and come and add a new layer. There's the A, click there, F, here's a layer that's blank, E, didn't get it, E, again A and A and layer and click an E. All right, so now I have S-A-F-E. I can click on the tool that's just like the Photoshop tool, make sure I'm on the correct layer over here, and I can move these fonts up and down, just like in our example, S-A-F-E. All right, cropping. Here is your, um, marching ants box or your marquee box, whichever you learn to call it. Draw a box around the outside and edit to crop. Crop is also Z and there it is. If you want it to be in one layer, that is under layer, flatten image. Aha, we've got it. File, save as, it's coming in as a clip studio format. You can do bitmap, JPEG, ping, TIFF, Targa, Photoshop, document. If you get Photoshop later, you can save it both ways. I'm going to go JPEG and save. And I didn't change the name, so illustration, safe. Done. All right, file new. Okay, next one. This one 
is a stacked type. So all you have to be able to do is type the word once and rotate it. It's very simple. All right, so we come in into Paint, Clip Studio Paint. Click on color. Let's see if we can get color to change right quick. Let's go with black. Click OK. There it is. Type on A. Type on A. Come and click over here. Let's change the font. That was snap italic. Let's go with spider. And I'm going to do big. B-I-G. Done. Okay. Edit. Copy. Edit. Paste. All right. Now I've got my move arrow. Okay, so there it is, but it's not reverse. So edit, transform, flip vertical, line it up. All right, and then I can um, come forward and repeat that, but I don't believe I have enough paper. View, fit to screen. Yeah, it looks like that's it. So that is easy enough to do. It is, again, under edit, just like in Photoshop. And we're going to look for, hmm, I have to apply it first. All right. And click on a tool, apply. All right. So there is my first stack. Let's do it again by adding in more room. So edit. And we'll look for change canvas size. And I'm going to put it right in the middle and add. We want the height to be bigger. So let's double it. it right now, it is under 1,200. We can change it to inches. Let's see how big that is. It's 16 inches, so we'll make it 36. Right in the middle. So view, fit to screen. Now I have all this white space. Edit, paste, move up, line up. Edit, paste, move down. Transform, edit, transform, flip vertical, line up, stacked, te stacked text. All right, apply transformation and layer, flatten image. Now we need to crop, I'm cropped yet. So I'm gonna draw a box around the whole entire thing. And edit, crop Z. File, save as, illustration two. Change the format so that you can, I mean, it's going to have to be three. Three. Change the format so you can put it on your blog or upload. And save. Number two is finished. Next one, number three. Trying to get this all real quick in one little video for you. Paint. Who I would need to look. Okay. Um... It is ligatures. I'll show you what a ligature looks like. Ligature just basically means that you are moving your font around so that they overlap. They can overlap sideways. They can overlap up and down. They can have little curly cues. It's a ligature. Lots of fun. Very pretty type. All right. So here we are. Back to paint. And file new. All right, let us get a font over here that's got something pretty happening. Um, wide Latin. And how about pretty? P, maybe too, too big. Undo, because it looks like it's taking the whole page. So it's at 573. Let's make it about 200. 
All right, letter P. First one is always going to be on its own layer. Um, click down. Go on a new layer. Do, 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 do. New layer. P. R. Really, they did. Went back to what it was a minute ago. Undo. Forget what it was, but it wasn't that small. It was like 200 and... All right. R. Capitals. R. All right. It's very simple. We're going to move it. If it's too big or too small, we just resize it. And you can decide how you want your ligature to overlap. So that actually doesn't look too bad right there. I'm going to leave it alone. P R E is the next one. Let's click down here. Click on A. You're back over here. We're back to 500. So I'll change it back to 200 and something. And click here for the E. Nope. Got to watch if it's still on the same layer. You want to make sure you go on a new layer or you won't be able to move it. Same with Photoshop. You want to be able to move that to another layer. There we go. E. And move. You can resize it if you need to. Not too terribly bad. I'm moving on. New A, new font. Look at size, 213. It stayed. Wrong layer. New layer. Okay, that one, let me do it now. And T, move it, I'm just going to duplicate it since I have a T, layer, duplicate. Let's see where we want to line it up, P-R-E-T-T, -T. new layer. And why? That was fast. That was simple. We're to our Y. All right, move it, line it up. Ligature. All right, what's next? Crop it. Take your box. It'll draw around the whole thing. Layer, you know, edit, crop Z, layer, flatten image, file, save as, LIG, and some apps, I like URE, and change it to JPEG. Done and done. All right, there's number three, finished. Next one, paint, file new. Okay. All right, this one I've always found to be the hardest because you have to do more critical thinking. <sighs> Got the wrong one. More critical thinking to get there. So, and that is figure ground reversal. So, you can do kind of a positive, negative thing. What I've done here, you can see that looks like part of an E, part of a W, part of an E, part of a W, EW on all of them. Um, I did ABC. It doesn't matter how you do it. You can see that these are all positive and negative. You can see the B color in the background, and these are so jumbled up, you're not really sure what the bigger the ground is. But um, I think um, two letters are prob probably two letters at the minimum, three letters. It's a little bit easier. 
paint. All right, so I've got black going here. Come to my letter A and my letter A. And let's see what font we might try to find here. Something maybe thick. And I'm just going to put a B. And um, for the second letter, I'm going to go with white. That means I need to change my background letter so I can see it right away in the beginning. So we're going to go red for the background and pour it in. And I have to click on something so that I can pour. All right, here is my paint bucket. Guess what? I have to come and try it again. White red okay paint bucket all right come back and get my background here's my piece of white paper that one is no good i see my outlook i'm not going to look at you right now pour out my paint bucket red all right then i'm going to come forward on my Next one and get my white. And go with a new letter, A. And a new letter, A. Where did the A go up here? A. And A and text color white. And just for fun, Let's try a whole nother B. It doesn't matter if one's caps, one lowercase. See what we could do to move them around so that um, they're overlapping in some way so that you're playing with positive and negative space. And that is where the creativity comes with it so that you've got some kind of figure ground reversal. You can always uh, rotate it, that transform, rotate. And just like Photoshop, it'll let you move the letter around. And wherever you cover up the number beneath, that will work. And apply. And let's copy that one and paste it in again. Um, duplicate layer, right click duplicate and move it again. I'm not gonna make anything that makes a whole lot of sense. I'm just going to do it right now so I can make your how to. All right. B, B, B. Crop it in there. All right, lay it, edit, crop. All right, and file, save as, JPEG, and I'm gonna do FG. Okay, it said my layers were going to be flattened out. All right, so that's number three. The last one I'm not going to do. I'm going to show it to you, though, from where I could find in this. And that would be onomatopoeia. And with the onomatopoeia, I do not have a huge amount of things that are already pre-made. You may have to go and find something or draw something. You could find a piece of clip art. Since you don't have Photoshop, you could go online and find a piece. But what there is in uh, Clip Studio is under the... And it's not under the flower because that's where I left it. It's kind of a effect cross that looks like this. This has a lot of cute things like hearts, 
So there's little hearts. That's something you could do a heart with a heart in the middle of it. There's vegetables. There's artificial things like barbed wire. There's some clothing things. There's patterns. There's natural. So whatever you do with yours, you'll have to replace the letter with one of these. And it's not that much different than everything else you did. All right. That is it in a nutshell. And you can do all. Oh, you saw just now, I think. The black and white one I did where I colored out part of the background and at ABC. So that's really a good figure ground reversal. Um, let's see if they have the other ones. I will put them in the blackboard there so that you can see it. That's it. It is a lot of fun. I think if you just bought uh, your Wacom, you're really going to enjoy this software.